Hello guys, how are you? Bia here with a new Ferris Wheel Press video. You may notice that my hands are kind of smurf-like. Uh, I've been painting for classes that I'm doing, so yeah, my hands are quite messy and it has been a very intense filming day for me, so why not more? <laughs> Actually, just the perfect opportunity to just relax. So, today we have these inks. So we have two collections here. This is still part of the fairy tales collection. They are still releasing fairy tales stuff, which I ain't complaining. I love that collection. This is the blue barrel tonic. So this is, I believe the fifth now. I will check. I will put them all in a row because they're stunning. Before we get started quickly, Ferris Wheel Press is not sponsoring this video. I am part of their ambassador program. So if you want to get any of these inks, you can you can do so using my code BAEBICHKU ART. It no longer has the 10, so all of my other codes that are the 10 or 5, I'll try to change them on the video descriptions. But yeah, from now on, it's just BAEBICHKU ART. So no numbers, just my name. And you can do so in the link in the description below. So yeah, getting that out of the way, just the normal spiel and looking quickly at the fairy tales one. This is the blueberry tonic. The box is stunning as usual. They never disappoint when it comes to boxes. Very mirror-like, just like the other ones. And I believe it has just like tons of like shelves and potions. Like it's sort of a... Um, Apothecary, I think that's like the vibe that it's giving and it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. So the base is Periwinkle, which I think it's like a very soft blue. No sheen. The shimmer is rose gold, which I'm so excited about. And the shading is high. The shimmer is the same as the blushing mushroom. And if you saw my last video on Fair Supress, I loved that color. Rose gold shimmer ink was something I did not know I needed in my life. I got it and life is great. <laughs> Just looking at all the bottles, it's definitely like apothecary vibes, which I love. It's definitely, uh, oh, look at that. Oh. Can you see that? Honestly, <laughs> it's like magic. It's like no image, bam. Same here? Yeah, oh, okay. So showing you the box, it's bad at this angle. Let me look at that. Bam. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> yeah, it's like the reflection just makes it so obscure. And then there it is. That is super cool. Oh, here's the Mad Hatter's hat. Can you see that? It's cool trying to see. Oh, there's the mouse. And there's the thing, I assume it's like the caterpillar's pipe. Okay, I think that's the one with more like hidden gems, which makes sense. It's the one that's most visible, but it's really, really cool. So I cannot wait to look at it. But yeah, first let's look at the rest of this collection. So these three are part of a new collection called the Finer Things Collection. So this is in celebration of the season in which two of the Ferris Wheels co-founders were born. The story be behind this design begins with their love for or orology. What is orology? Oh, cool. It's the science study of time. Okay, that's pretty awesome. So this is the oyster hour. And I'm just checking the little blurb they sent me. So this represents the joy of antique shopping and looking through glass cabinets in search of your next piece to fall in love with. These are not shimmer inks, these are just plain inks and they seem very like, I, I kind of want to say dark academia and I think this fits kind, kind of the theme, so it might be very interesting. Next up, we have steeped umber, which there's cats on the packaging and a little mouth. Lots of mice, actually. Lots of teapots, which I enjoy. I love tea. Oh, look at these. They're so cute. I know my hands are a mess. Don't mind them. <laughs> oh, it also has the 
ink tone on my little blurb and it says this one is creamy oyster brown latte okay and its characteristics are creamy tan warming shaded and subdue cool cool this is very interesting this new blurb this one is cognac brown leather and it's warm spicy and rich Okay, so inspired by peek through our vintage tin teaware cabinet reveals a storied collection of hand-painted bone china and delicate porcelain created with love and care over a lifetime. Ah, oh, this one's cute, that's cute. Indulge in a sweet treat, join some hungry mice for some biscuits along your tea. Can you spot all 31 of them? Uh, let me see how many I can see. Hello. One, this, this, quatre. I think so, that's eight, nothing. There's hundred, those three, there, that's a nine, even from two. Okay, I got like 21 on the first just like look, so I'm missing 10. <laughs> Finally, I love this packaging. It's all stamps and it has that like certified thing. It's literally all stamps and there's stamps with mice and cats and birds and succulents, I think. Oh, this is like a succulent with a pen name on it. I, I love just checking their packaging and trying to find like different stuff. Love this packaging. So this is Spruce, Spruce, Spruce County Post, so yeah, it's about post office. So the characteristic says it's calming, deep, earthy and cool. And paired with a warm cuppa, inspired by curators who enjoy flipping through the pages of love, a long-loved ephemera. Looking back at our personal collection of curated vintage stamps, carefully removed and preserved, we bring the life we bring to life an ink that stands as a testament to love of writing and thoughts communicated through the nib of a pen. They have several studio cats and these are Pumpkin and Patch, they mention. Yeah, these are the studio cats. So that's really, really cute. Ah. Okay, I really enjoyed this little blurb that they provided. It's very adorable. All of these inks are launching on the 2nd of September, so they should be out by the time I post this. I'm filming this on the 31st, so they should be out by the time this is on. Head on to their website if you want to grab any of these. They sometimes have some collections that, that the colors are quite crazy and it's actually quite nice to have a calm and just like very... I don't know, very autumn-y. It's quite cozy. I'm quite enjoying just like looking at them. It gives me like, yeah, like library vibes, cozy vibes. And honestly, I'm so done with summer. I, I don't really enjoy summer. <laughs> I'm more of an autumn type of person. So I'm super excited for just those vibes. I'm also super excited to look at the tonic. Let me pull all of the fairy tales so we can just look at them. The Ruby Royal Blush, the Dream of Curiosity and Tumbleweed Time Blue. So those were the three first. And most recently they came out with Adventuring and Blushing Mushroom. And these are both rose gold glitter. And now we have our blueberry tonic. So, so far we have six. I don't know if they're going to keep on releasing fairy tales inks it's already quite a large collection it's looking very very cool like and it's definitely very striking colors and then more mystical colors i'd say if it wants to focus my camera definitely does not know how to handle this packaging it's like a lot for it it's it gets all crazy, but it's definitely a mood, this whole collection. Let's get out our blue burial tonic out of the packaging. Because I'm quite curious to look at it. Eh, well, it's really on there. Hello. Would you like to come out and join us, please? Uh, Houston, we have an issue? Okay. <laughs> it was really in there. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> TBB. Oh no, BBT. 
I just remembered to be continued. Oh, that's CBC. Well, that was a tangent. <laughs> but yeah, the jars are just the cutest thing. They're so small. I love this collection. Not just because, but I also really like the size of the jars. And yeah, the, the oh my god, look at that glitter. Can you see all that glitter? If you shake it, you can see the blue. It's definitely a very nice blue. I'm excited to see the shading of it as well. Okay, then we have our little finer things collection. So let's start with the oyster, because that's the one we saw first. So I assume this is just going to be a very light brown, which I don't think it should be able to, we should be able to see on camera. But now our steeped umber. This is just like, it's giving me like the color of shelves <laughs> type of deal. Looking at the bottle, it just looks like a very rich brown. And you can definitely tell that this one is more just yellowish, which is like a latte color. And this one's just more a brown rich color. So quite excited. And then, yeah, the spruce. I know I tend to go for more like colorful inks, but like I mentioned, I think I'm just craving that like autumn vibes. So, oh, that's a very not green. <laughs> I'm excited for this one because it might not be that much green. I can definitely see the green in there. So all together, it just, it's like very academia vibes. And I'm interested and I'm curious. So without further ado, let's swatch these. My ceramic palette, just so I can water it down a bit more. And I have two jars as always. So doing a brush each so I don't mix them. I remember and I hear you guys. Okay, I need another brush because I do have four inks this time. So with the blueberry tonic, I think blue blueberry real tonic, I'm gonna shake a lot right here. Ooh, it's so pretty. Like even when you remove it, it you can see the sparkles move. Okay, let me see if you can even see the aha. Uh -huh. Can you see that? Look at that sparkle. Ooh, that is pretty. There we go. It looks like the night sky. Okay, so doing a nice stripe here. Oof, okay. Now, I definitely want to do like a watered version. I just want to see how it separates the shading. I definitely need to see that. Because it's just one of my favorite things about these types of inks. It's just seeing the different colors come through. It's just magical. This kind of reminds me of the blue in Alice's dress, actually. It's very pretty. All the sparkle. This is gonna look stunning once it's dry. Now, let's get started on the other collection. I mean, let me just put this here. I'm going to start with the Oyster Rower. I, I don't need to shake it. I'm so used to shaking now because lately we've been just getting like shimmer inks. So it's actually been a while since we don't have shimmer inks, which is it's refreshing, although I do love shimmer inks. <laughs> okay, just going to put a bit, a little dollop. We'll be doing the art demo possibly in another video as usual, so I don't need a lot of ink for right now. Yeah, it looks almost greenish, has a greenish vibe. Not quite, I mean, it's more yellow. It's definitely an antique color. I can definitely see that. Let me water it down to see what what comes through from that. Hmm. I can see some yellow. It's definitely an interesting color. Okay. 
I won't judge prematurely. Let it do its thing and we'll see. Let's move on to the other two. So I'm just going to do like two swatches per page. Because I really like just water it and just see how it looks. Let's go for the steeped under umber. So the like bookshelf type of color. Ooh. Ooh. Just right here you can tell. It kind of looks like chocolate. If I like chocolate. Fun fact, I don't know if you know that about me. I don't actually like chocolate. <laughs> Never liked, not even as a kid, so. That's a fun fact about me. <laughs> the steeped under, umber, ooh. Yeah, it's definitely like that, like, uh, what, do you, what, what do I want to say? I think I want to say like wood, warm wood slash chocolate. I think that's the vibe I'm getting. This is actually very nice. I don't really usually care about these types of colors, like the muted tones and stuff like that. But like I mentioned, I am craving that autumn vibes and this is definitely scratching an itch I didn't quite know I had. Let me, oh, it's all over the place. Let me water it down to see if we have any interesting tones coming through. Maybe, maybe not. I might have been spoiled with some high shading inks lately, so these might not actually even have shading at all, and I might have just been spoiled. Who knows, but I'm liking this. Definitely, I like this one better than this one, for sure. So let's see, finally, the Spruced County Post. I love the idea of it being like based on post office. I love that. So let's see, it is a green. It looks very forest green. Don't disappoint me. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Maybe. I think I've grown a bit fonder of greens. Still not my favorite color, but I, I can definitely appreciate it a bit more now. So let's pick it up. You know what? I don't hate it. I surprisingly don't hate it because it's not trying to be that like I don't know it's not trying to be something that I hate <laughs> it's actually quite pleasant what happened to me when when did I start enjoying green yeah look at that I am enjoying this what happened to me Actually, okay, I have a little bit of room on the side here, so I'm just going to wet the paper a bit and just do a little bit of a water down. Whatever is your name, where are you? The Spruce County Post. The ink is fully dry. Uh, don't mind this green. This is actually from the previous page behind. I did some writing and unfortunately it bled through so I am going to do some swatches in like thicker watercolor paper probably. But look at that shine. It is just so pretty. I am, I honestly love it so much. Like, like I mentioned, rose gold sparkle. Oh, it's, ooh, it actually lifts up a lot. Look at that. That was packed with glitter. It's like an eyeshadow. <laughs> yes, and so that picked up a lot of glitter. Let me just swipe it <laughs> my hands are just going to be sparkly all over i i yeah i'll definitely do some swatches on different papers so you can just kind of experience it the oyster hour it's okay so far i definitely want to try it on different papers to see how it looks this paper is not really loving these swatches is making some very odd things that it doesn't usually do like for example, these are other swatches and that did not happen. Swatching inks in this paper for a while and that hasn't happened in a while. So I don't know what's going on. So I'll definitely try doing the swatches on a different page just to see how it looks. But so far, the steep umber and the spruce are actually my favorite of the finer things. I absolutely love the blue barrel tonic. It's so, so pretty. Not sure which one I prefer, if it's the, either this one or the blushing mushroom. I do love like violet colors, 
but this one i don't know it just reminds me of alice's dress so it gains points by that oyster hour it's okay so far it might be definitely a useful color for the illustration which i think i kind of have an idea but i definitely want to study and see what i come up with with just a bit more time these are our swatches for today i hope you had fun in this little chill swatching session i always enjoy these little just times they just make me so happy uh and i honestly really needed a more calm feel. these types of videos where we swatch these inks just honestly are lifesaver for me because sometimes i definitely need a more chill type of video and today was one of those days my voice is done i've been filming all day i hope you had fun do let me know which is your favorite even if it's the blue burial tonic uh even though it's a different collection but especially from the finer things collection which is your favorite i am surprisingly very leaning towards the green i like it it's very i'm i'm liking the moody colors i don't know what's going on if i'm just like growing up <laughs> It had to happen sometime. I don't know, I'm enjoying it and it's very, very nice. I honestly can't wait to see what I do for the illustrations. So you can expect that next week because I'm just so excited to just have some nice, moody and relaxing colors finally and just make a cup of tea, relax and just have fun. I'm so excited. Don't forget that if you want to get any of these inks, those are available already on the website. And if you want to save 10% off and also support my creative journey, you can use the code BABISHKUART. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and let me know in the comments which of the inks is your favorite. I love seeing you guys reactions, which inks you prefer it's really really interesting stay tuned for swatches on different papers because i'm also really curious how they do thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys